We're talking today about a conditioned crawl space inside a pier and beam foundation. I want to talk to you today about a conditioned crawl space we're building on this project and the differences between what this is going to be and what a traditional vented crawl space looks like. Now, if you've ever been in a vented crawl space, I built a lot of them when I was in the Pacific Northwest and you see them all over the South. A vented crawl space has vents to the outside and the air inside the crawl space is connected to the outdoor air. There's usually some type of ceiling and insulation that's done at the floor line for the house above. And those crawl spaces, at least the ones that I've been in, can be nasty places. Oftentimes there's ponding water down there. It's really a place that raccoons and other animals can get into and oftentimes just bugs in general, it's hard to get through with all the thick cobwebs on a traditional vented crawl space. Now this crawl space, on the other hand, we don't have any vents on the perimeter. Now we poured a perimeter beam on this. This doesn't have the traditional piers that you might see on a, uh, a normal pier and beam foundation. Check out the video on this one to know why. We've got some clay soil here, so we did things slightly differently on this pier and beam foundation. But you can see here, we're starting um, with a really good vapor barrier. The perimeter walls are the structural walls, but this vapor barrier right here is what's separating the house from that dirt below. This is a really thick plastic called Stego Wrap. It's 10 mil. Now you can see there's some moisture beads forming on the bottom of this wrap here. So it's already doing its job of keeping that moisture from the slab and getting that into the house. You can see we've got a wire mesh down. We're actually gonna be pouring a concrete slab in this crawl space. Now that's an optional step. We don't have to do that, but we wanted this crawl space to be one that would be especially nice to get into, easy to service. We want to make sure we can get in here once a year for a termite inspection, or if we ever had to mess with plumbing or electrical or do some remodeling, this is going to make a really nice crawl space. With traditional vented crawl spaces, it's so hard to seal at that floor line and prevent that air from coming up that ultimately your house's air is very connected to your crawl space air. So in this case, we've done every Everything we can to make sure this is a clean, hospitable place, that we don't have elevated moisture, that we don't have critters or other nastiness down here. This is really going to make a solid base for this house. We're going to come back here in about two weeks, check out how the floor framing is going and show you the next step in this process. Okay, we're back and a lot's happened in the last two weeks. Remember last time I was here, we had the yellow vapor barrier below me and now we've got a four inch basement slab poured. So now this crawl space in the basement is basically the same as a short basement. This is gonna be insulated at the perimeter. We're gonna use closed cell foam around the outside of this house. We wanna use closed cell because we're below grade. The grade in the outside is higher than the basement slab and the closed cell won't absorb moisture. Open cell foam is similar to a kitchen sponge. It will absorb moisture. So anytime we're in this situation, use the closed cell. Several benefits to this conditioned crawl space. Number one, all the pests are gonna be blocked out. We're not gonna have rats, mice, raccoons in this crawl space. We may still have a couple of spiders, but that's really about it. Number two, we're able to air seal so much better by using that insulation at the perimeter and especially using closed cell foam than if we were trying to air seal here at the plywood deck level. Same with insulation. Insulating in crawl spaces is really a hit or miss operation. And I see so many houses that either are non-insulated or insulated very poorly. By putting that insulation on the perimeter, we've got a perfectly air sealed, perfectly insulated crawl space. And remember, there's no vents down here, so the temperature and humidity are gonna be within a couple of degrees and a couple of points of the air above us. Two big benefits to that. Number one, our hardwoods that are gonna be above this space now are gonna live at the same humidity and temperature as below and above. That means we're not gonna expand and contract, we're not gonna experience movement. They're gonna last a lot longer and be in great shape. But the biggest benefit to the conditioned crawl space is the indoor air quality benefit. If this was a dirt uh, floor underneath us here or maybe an unprotected vapor barrier, all that humidity, all that nasty stuff and that ugly air that's down in that crawl space is gonna migrate its way up into the house no matter how well we air seal. But in this case, we've got a conditioned crawl space, a nice concrete slab that's protecting that vapor barrier for its entire life. 
we're gonna have great indoor air quality on this house as a result. Hey, for more information on this best practice for doing a conditioned crawl space, visit my blog at mattreisinger.com. And if you wanna follow the construction progress on this house, we're gonna be posting photos on both Instagram and Twitter that'll be hashtag Reisinger Sips. That's the type of wall panel we're using here. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.